am here with the people of Borno State collectively and unanimously to submit the forms, the gubernatorial candidate form of our governor, sitting governor, Prophet Babagana Zulum. The reason or the spirit behind this is to show how unanimous uh, the people of Borno State are in support of our governor to, second, uh, to, to contest for his second tenure. And that is why, as you can see, we selectively, deliberately, selectively selected some people, the chairman, myself, and few others, to come and submit his form. Together with his form, we also submitted the form of one of our leaders, and that is distinguished Senator Kashim Shetima, and also the form of one of our members of House of Representatives. We deliberately did that in order to, one, submit that of the governor, two, one of the senators, that hap which happens to be uh, Kashim Shetima from Borno Central, and uh, the other one for uh, Tasco. Tasco. Uh, <laughs> Talba is Tasco from okay. Borno Central, too, uh, uh, for Northern Borno. Uh, for House of Assembly, the reason why we, don't, we didn't come with one to represent them is because the House of Assembly one submission is uh, at, the, at, the, at the state level. Uh, the message here is that Borno State, if there is any state that is so united in terms of uh, contest for the, for the forthcoming election, if it is not for legalities and we don't want to generate controversy, we would have had one of the members of PDP to represent them in submitting our gubernatorial form. <laughs> but that one will be funny. But I'm assuring you that even EDP are in support of the candidature, a candidature particularly of uh, Professor Baba Ganazuno. Yes, by God's grace. I'm, eh? I'm waiting for the journalist to come and submit my own form. <laughs> You know, submitting the form to me has been very, very seamless. Uh, we came here, and there were just two groups ahead of us. We didn't spend any. We didn't spend up to 20 minutes in here, and the desk officers are doing a great job. Went through our documents one by one, confirmed that we had everything, and then we are good to go. So I think that if this process continues this way in a very peaceful way, uh, it, where, where APC is going to come out tops in all the elections. And for me, like I said, uh, in Plateau State, everybody is looking forward to a very peaceful uh, primaries. And I can tell you that most people on the Plateau are looking forward to Dr. Patrick Dakum becoming the flag bearer of the APC.